Nick, what was just your reaction to coming out of the All Star break and finding out that the organization was parting ways with Jock Vaughn? Uh, you know, obviously it's it's tough to see. You know, he poured a lot into the organization. He's been here since I've been here. He he had a lot of trust in me, but you know, business is business, and you know, it's a, just it is what it is. We got to keep rolling. We got Kevin as a coach now, so we got to um, just get things started. With Kevin Ollie being named the interim, just what's your reaction to seeing him move into a different position, especially a assistant coach who's been a vocal guy for the group? What does it just do for the group? I think that his journey, his journey to where he is now. You know that he's he's ready for it. He's up for the challenge. It's obviously going to be a challenge with 28 games left, and you know with our our goal being to make the playoffs. So we just all have to be on the same page and have the same mindset and have have trust in him and the coaching staff. For you, how challenging is it? Because I know, now this is a third coach for you now. How how challenging is it to kind of like get used to a new coach another time in your in your career? It's the fourth coach. Fourth coach. Uh, it's a. I mean, it's, it's a part of the NBA. It's, if you're in one place for a few years, like, you know, this will be my fifth year here, I feel like it's just the, it's the business part of the league. So you just have to be able to adjust and just learn on the fly. And I have a lot of experience doing that. So, you know, I'm just going to do what I do. As you correctly point out, I mean, it's been several coaches that you're going to be under in a reasonably short amount of time. But, I mean, what kind of emotions are you feeling when you – when you see your coach outgoing because of the results, and how does that reflect on you guys, the guys in here? I mean, like I said, like I said, um, JV, he's a he's a stand-up guy. Um, he, he he poured a lot into the organization. He was here before I got here. Um, but you know, you can't have too many emotions. You have to you have to move on pretty quick. Like we we play tomorrow against Toronto, and we have a new leader and um, KO. So you know, you you say your goodbyes to JV and. Um, you get acclimated to the new system and everything we've been putting it in. Putting how, do you, in. how do you expect this team might look a little bit different under KO? I mean, you talked about the new system. Where might it look different? More on offense, more on defense? I think on both sides of the ball. Um, some new, maybe some new, some new sets, some new schemes defensively. Uh, just, just kind of simplifying everything for everybody. So, you know, we know exactly what we're doing um, these last, these last games of the season. Similar, I guess, to like last season, where obviously you had new guys coming in, and it was a bit of an adjustment with adding Mikael, Cam, and kind of bringing that system. Now you're bringing a whole new system with with Kevin Ollie. Is that kind of a similar adjustment to last year, a little bit? Uh, somewhat. You know, when you bring in different players, different coaches, it's it's somewhat of a, a similar adjustment. And at the end of the day, though, you you go out and play basketball. You control what you can. Um, you know, you go out and just play play the game as hard as you can, and you figure out the X's and O's as as games go on. But I'm um, just just keep the main thing, the main thing. I think that's what we all have to focus on right now, and just trusting in the staff and learning as fast as we can. I'm oh, sorry. What has these last two practices been like? How would you just describe just the overall level of what you guys have been able to do in such a short period of time? Just setting our goals, getting used to. Getting used to um, different different schemes, like I said, offensively and also defensively, and just all being on the same page. Just you know, like I said, we um, JV leaving. It, it just it is what it is, and just being on the same page from here on up. Ko mentioned you got up and down yesterday, and so I'm assuming you may have matched up with Dayron back from the knee injury. What have you seen, not in his whole career? But now this year, this leap that he's made, playing against him in practice, how has that kind of affected you to see his growth? Definitely see him figuring it out, finding his niche in the league, just seeing where he can affect the game. Similar similar to the jump that I had in my third year, just, just kind of filling things out and getting that confidence in himself. And it's, it's definitely good to have him back and you know us being able to split minutes and with our games kind of contrasting a little bit out there, it'll, it'll definitely be a good look for the team. What do you think it is about that third year? Because, I mean, Cam Thomas and Dayron in that third year both made significant leaps. You mentioned it yourself. What do you think it is about that juncture, I guess? Yeah, everybody's journey is different. Some guys come into the league and they're automatically playing 20, 25 minutes. I think for, for Cam and Dayron and also, you know, I had injuries and for them, just being put into a, a championship team, you have to go through a really quick learning process. So, you know, 
like I said, everybody's journey is different. Things are starting to click for both of them. How was the break for you and how needed was it to kind of reset and reflect? I know the news probably changed some things, but just how, how were the, those last couple of days for you? Uh, the break was great. The break was good for everybody mentally, physically, just to unplug and just just chill out and get your mind off of everything. And, you know, now it's our job to, to finish strong and get as many wins as we can. You know, we put ourselves in somewhat of a hole, but we just got to come out and really lock in um, for this last part of the season. You talked about KO both putting in some sets but also simplifying things for you guys. Um, is a big focus clarity? Because, I mean, that's what it sounded like in some of Mikhail's comments and some of KO's comments that you wanted or organizationally, team-wise, you guys needed more clarity on what you needed to be doing out on the court. The focus should be clarity, but the focus should also be just going out and just playing as hard as we can. Um, not making excuses, just going out and and just winning games. Like um, it's our job to go out and hoop and compete, and it's the coaches' jobs to to go out and put us in sets and to have us on the same page defensively. So that's what we're doing now um, for the end of this break and end of the season. How much does how good of a job this team does over those last 28 games of doing that play into your thinking for the summer, or do you have other priorities that you're thinking? About? I mean, I just. I can't really, you know, look into that. All I can do is, you know, try to go out and win as many games as help the help the team win as many games as I can. Um, you know, it's been it's definitely been frustrating up to this point, but just gotta um, go out and finish strong. I know Kevin talked about EGBs, energy generating behaviors. What were some of those behaviors that he talked about that um, stood out to you a little bit? Say that one more time. The energy generating behaviors, EGBs. He talked about that. What stood out to you about? what some of those behaviors were. Yeah, that's something he touched on even early in the season, but just just selfless acts. It has nothing to do with scoring or offense or you know how many points we putting up. Just, you know, dapping up your teammates, um, deflections, offense and rebounds, um, just things that have nothing to do with skill and and just just being a, a hard-nosed basketball player.